Hi, I'm Mike. Some big and tough decisions are on the way for the ranch, and today we take a look at the cattle market, calves, and prices, and try to make a decision on how the ranch will move into the next year on our Wyoming Life. <laughs> Welcome back, and thanks for coming along once again as we explore the ranch life and escape the ordinary. If this is your first time here, please watch till the end of the video. I'm gonna ask you to subscribe at the end, and if you like what you see, please do so. And continue on our journey through our family ranch in Northeast Wyoming. It may surprise you to actually learn that 60% of people that watch our Wyoming life don't subscribe. And the more that do, the faster we're able to spread our message about how important agriculture is and the families behind it. Please help out by hitting that subscribe button. October for us means the end to a season. If we were farmers, we'd compare it to harvesting wheat or any other crop. But we're ranchers, and harvest has to do with cows. No matter how big of a rancher you are or how small, every cattle producer is faced with the same dilemma. When is the best time to sell cows? It's this time of year that we start watching the livestock reports very closely, and we're gonna take a look at one in just a few minutes. Our breeding season, which takes place from July until September, dictates when calves are gonna be ready to leave the ranch, or at least wean from their moms. We have basically two options when it comes to selling calves, and both have their pros and cons. Usually, when we sell calves on the ranch, we sort calves off of the cows the same day that they're loaded onto a truck and, and taken to auction. This is called truck weaning. The other option is a traditional weaning period where we separate the moms and their calves and keep them separate, but still on the ranch. This will allow the calves to be weaned from their mother's milk and begin a diet of strictly hay. Truck weaning, it's obviously easier you only have to deal with the calves once and it can be cheaper because you don't have to supply hay or pasture for those weaned calves if you think about it an average 500 pound calf will eat between 10 to 15 pounds of hay per day and for a herd size like ours that could equate to over 2,000 pounds a uh, cost of about 150 bucks per day but it does have its downside calves that are weaned on the truck are more likely to get sick in the feedlot and they tend to lose a lot more weight on the way to the auction itself on the flip side, calves that are weaned on the ranch will maintain weight better and be more healthy, having, having already transitioned to a, a non-milk diet. That's really only the first decision that we have to make when choosing when and how our calves enter the food distribution system because really, this is where beef in the grocery store starts, on somebody's ranch. Some are big, some are small, and us, even with 150 breeding cows and over 5,000 acres, we're still considered a pretty small ranch in the U.S. One of the weirdest things I ever heard on the ranch came when we first came here, and it was my father-in-law, Gilbert, who has since passed away, who asked the question, can we afford to sell our calves this fall? Calves are sold on a, a per pound basis. They call it average per hundred weight or CWT. And when we first came here, Gilbert was thrilled to receive over a dollar a pound. I think it was a dollar two or something like that. But it's a difficult number to figure when each calf might weigh a little different. And you also have to look at the difference between boys and girls and the steer calves or castrated boys. They'll actually bring more at auction or at sales time. We as cattle producers should know exactly how much input cost we have into each calf, even if it's just an average. I'm not going to go into it today because we actually did it in a previous video. You can go check that out. But I can say that each calf that we have on the ranch costs us right around $800 this year. From the hay that we had to buy to feed mom over the entire winter to vet expenses, insurance, my wages, shipping costs, and everything else that keeps the ranch going. So we know that in order to break even, we have to average $800 per calf. This is where we can start to look at the market report and see what calves are really bringing. You could look at the national averages, but I would actually suggest that you look at your local sales barn. Most will post or at least give you a sales report for the previous weeks. And we're gonna take a look at the sales report from the 10th of October and how calves sold and for how much. Sales reports, they can be a little bit confusing. 
but buyers are smart. They know what they can pay per animal and the amount that they can bid can go up for a smaller calf and down for a larger one. For example, let's look right here. Someone had 82 black steers. They averaged 470 pounds and they sold for 170 per hundred weight or $1.70 per pound. That entire group was worth $65,518 or $799 each. Now for some heavier cows, this group of 93 black steers, they weigh in at 552 pounds and they brought 158.50 per hundred weight. That's $81,365 and change over, well, right at $874 per calf. The heavier the calf, the more it's worth, which makes sense as stockyards are saving a bit on the growth of the calf. So let's go down the report a little bit here. And here's another group of steers, 60 of them at 606 pounds selling for $145.75. That averages to $883. So we're going up a little bit more, but that's all for steers. With those three numbers, we can average those and we can get a good idea of about $850 for a steer calf. That's good. That's more than we have into them. Now heifers or girl calves, they need the same treatment. And since they're sold separately, we have to go through the entire thing. This year, we are very evenly split between heifers and steers. So we're gonna actually go with a 50-50 split when we figure out our averages. But on the sheet, heifers averaging 437 pounds brought 147.75 per hundred weight or $645 a piece. The heavier ones, a group at 529, they averaged 695 and the heaviest last week at 563 pounds were $1.40 per pound and that averages out to $788. That gives us an average of $709 for the heifers. If we average both together, then we get an average price of $780 per calf. That's a loss of $20 per calf born on the ranch. Now we probably have a little bit of wiggle room in that $800 per calf cost. So it's probably close to breaking even, but breaking even by generating dollars to only meet expected expenses doesn't quite work. Working at or below break even point is not sustainable. So now is the time to change the way that we do a few things around here. And that starts with truck weaning and how it works. The truck weaning has been effective since Gilbert was alive. But starting this year, uh, we are going to be weaning our calves. We will also be selling them in smaller lots. This will allow us to separate calves by weight, just like they do at the sales barn. When calves reach that area, right around that 550 to 600 pounds, then we can take them to auction. Of course, this will only work if the ranch has enough money to keep running for another month or two without selling calves. That's why we used to sell everything all at one time because the, the ranch actually needed that paycheck all at once in October. This year, our saving grace was also our biggest heartache. While harvesting hay, you might remember we were struck by a hailstorm. That storm affected our hay harvest and left us seriously lacking in the winter forage department. So much so that we can't afford to buy hay to sustain the entire herd for winter. So what's gonna happen is our herd size will actually be reduced. Cows that aren't pregnant this year, older cows and cows that just don't perform as well as we expect them to, they're gonna be sold off before we start winter feeding. We expect to sell about 50 cows. From that same market report, we can look at culled cows and know that they average 60 cents per pound. Our cows, they're gonna be about 1,300 pounds a piece. They'll bring anywhere from 30,000 to $40,000 of additional income into the ranch this year. That of course will affect us next year when we don't have as many calves to sell, but a lot can happen in a year. And unfortunately, most family ranches have to operate from year to year. We worry about the future every single day, but sometimes that future is only as far away as tomorrow.
And of course, we invite you to come along every step of the way, from birth to sale day. You can escape the ordinary with us. Just subscribe, hit the bell, and get your notifications set up and explore the ranch life. With all the bad news today, I actually feel great. Because we have a plan, and knowing what is ahead of you is so much better than not knowing at all. I don't know who said it, but a goal without a plan is just a wish. And I'm tired of wishing. Thanks a bunch. This is going to be an adventure and it'll bring some new challenges, but I'm looking forward to tackling them and I'm looking forward to sharing it all with you. Until next time, have a great week and thanks for joining us in our Wyoming life.